Welcome to Automation Training App. In this video, we are going to see different types of script given in in-touch software. Already we have seen Windows script. So Windows script means whatever coding we given in this particular window, it will work. Same way in different windows, different script we can write it. And another one is actions. So actions is in an object, you can write a code. So whenever you press that object, that particular coding will execute. Same way, they are given another four types. Application, key, condition, data change. So that means totally we have six types of script we have. So window script, actions, application, key, condition, data change. So right now in Windows script, what we're doing the same thing only for application also, but the difference is the application script is common for entire. That means all windows. If you have multiple windows now, it will act as a common script. So whichever page you develop a design and write a script, it will execute. For example, right now you can see in page one, we have this form like a switch on output we have, I'll go to. So when I try to give a new window, it's asking to copy the script, but I'm not going to copy it. I'll just go to second window in first window. Okay, it is something else. So we'll leave it in the second window. I'll write the script for switch on lamp. I given the tag name as D0 for the lamp. So equal to DI. So right now I'll go to one time. You can see right now the switch is on the lamp is not responding because the script we written in second window. So it will execute those script only in that particular window. So if you want a common scripting now, then what we can do is instead of given a in here, I can give an application script. So that at runtime, you can see it's working. So that's the difference between window script and application script. So next is key. So key script is, uh, it is uh, similar to actions, but instead of object right now, we are going to use keys. For example, right now, I'm given key as A and given the script. So this script will work only when you press A. So right now at runtime, you can see if I offer it now, your lamp is not responding unless you press that particular key. So if I press A, it is responding. So key script is similar to actions. So action means when you press that object, it will respond. So right now key means in your keyboard, whatever button you want, you can give. So you can see in here already the keys has been given in here. And uh, if you want to delete that one now, just in the keys, you can right click, you can delete it. So next is condition. So right now for condition, what I'll do is uh, one second, we'll check what are the tag names we have. Okay.
So right now I'll take another one switch. I given the tag name as A. Now we'll go to condition. So in the condition, you can write that. If A equal to zero, then this particular script should work. Okay, so for condition, it's asking double equal to. So now, when we activate this one, So you can see if that condition is true, then it will work. You can see right now it is not getting off because that condition has been already scanned. So each time what happens if it happen again, then only it will respond. Because we don't have any particular scanning in here. You can see they are not asking any milliseconds. That means each time this condition again, you have to trigger then only that changes will update. So that's a working concept in condition script. So what condition we given? The condition is zero now, then it will work. So once it done, then again, what we have to do? You have to reset back. Then only again, it will scan. So each time the script, uh, you want to scan it now, your condition should be triggered. Then only it will work. So the next one is data change. So data changes similar to conditions. So in here it's asking a tag name. So I'm giving the tag name as same. What we did in condition, I will give it. So right now, the tag name we given us A. So in that, if I trigger, then it will work. So that means uh, whatever status you give in that script, it should execute now. Always that uh, tag name status should change. It can be either on or off, no issues. But each time it should trigger. Then only the changes will take place. So it is similar to condition, but in condition it is what? Only for either on condition or off condition, we give A double equal to zero or one. In that particular state only the script will work. But in data change, we are not giving any conditions. You can see the name itself, data change. That means in this particular tag name, if the data is changing now, the script will execute. So these are the totally six types of script we have. Windows script, action, application, key, condition, data change. I hope you understood. Thank you.